Hello and welcome to Talking Night, the improvised comedy talk show where a panel of dysfunctional media personalities dissect the week's news. My name is Dave Coffey. I'm joined in studio by former pop singer turned activist Trina McFarrader. Let's chat. Independent TD, Shawnee Sultcliffe. You got it in one, Dave. Social media influencer, Sarah O'Creely. hello And Shock News favourite journalist, Brian Kilbird. Read them and weep. And we have a special guest joining us today. It's Carpet Chris from Chris's Carpets. How are you getting on? It's me, Carpet Chris. <laughs> Chris, uh, you, you're something of a viral internet star these days. Tell us about your latest funny video. To, to basically the launch of our new Persian polyester six-inch carpet, uh, we had Keith Barry wrap himself up in it and throw himself off power scart. Of the, uh, the waterfall there? No, the steps beside Grogan's. The first case of the coronavirus has been confirmed on the island of Ireland after a woman travelled from northern Italy to northern Ireland via Dublin. Uh, Sean, your TD... Did you chat with Simon Harris over the decision to cancel the rugby match against Italy? Uh, I did. And I basically, I think we should go a step further. I think round people up, you even suspect of having it, and just shoot them in a ditch, Div. But what if you now gave a little, <laughs> sometimes you do, because you... Well, hang on a day. What was that now? Are you all right? No, no, I was... Oh, <laughs> no, Dave, Dave, no, hang I'm on you. I'm coughing, Dave. I'm fine. Just I cough could have gone in the boot of my car. I'll go get it. <laughs> Sarah, you avoided the coronavirus once in China. Are you going to take any special measures to avoid it now should a case break out here in the Republic of Ireland? I've been on a few holidays, that's true. Um, so I, I don't really want to worry anyone but I have also been to Italy recently oh god um, I so honestly think you're trying to get this virus for the likes oh I yes know. good point well, I mean, to be honest, to be honest point, I did think about it and I did I did kind of consider it because it would be it's new it's novel you know there's not any influencer with it yet mm. but what I do think is that like I am young fit like you know, I probably wouldn't die from it no, so no, like you're not that young actually you're, yeah. you're maybe that, you're maybe I do want to get it a great t- way to, to combat these kind of diseases is actually getting rid of the carpets in your house no you see I was yeah. just going to say carpets yeah, sure, they're carp- respiratory and they're riddled with diseases yeah, no not my antibacterial bad. acrylic is, is absolutely 100% germ free no. and it, it and then it's a pet and they're like pissing and shitting and walking in it and then wait a minute I want to hear a little bit more about this quality Irish made carpet thank you very much Dave this is nothing to do with his sponsorship well, of the show you know if it's nylon acrylic wool or polyester my selection of carpets are simply the best type of carpet I thought that was going to be a rhyme Chris I know Dave, St. Pa- St. Patrick's call Day. me carpet Carpet, sorry. I know St. Patrick's Day is a big day for you at Chris's Carpets every year. It certainly is. What, what, what have you got How planned? How the fuck is this relevant, Dave? It's you're talking about St. Patrick's Day. I'm asking what he has planned for the story. You're asking him. You're you asking don't ask him. us what we've planned for Patrick's Day. No, I'll I come to you hear. next, Brian. Let, okay? me, let me guess. He's got some deals on. Some well, carpet-based deals. If you'd let him Well, talk. let me tell you. So yeah. the fucking shamrock shag or something like that? That's, that a, that's exactly what it is. It's a shamrock tweed shag. How did you? Well, you're very well. Yeah, you must know. Trina, you previously had your daughter Sheila in isolation, but now you've sent her away on holidays, is that right? Skiing. Skiing. Build up her legs. Wait, she's not skiing. You didn't send her to northern Italy, did you? Well, I, I didn't send her. I bought her a ticket. To northern Italy. It's not like I put her in a in a in an envelope and put her in a post box. Sure. And <laughs> sent her to Italy. Very dear. idea. Very. You'd want a big fat envelope for for <laughs> big would. fat Sheila. I know. Yeah. And you she would. she'd suffocate and die. So. Yeah, we know. Jesus. It's you couldn't do that really with a person in an imagery. envelope. No, no. There you was can never, through paper. There was never a, suge- a suggestion that anyone would actually do no, that. No, I was just worried it that she might joke. attempt no, to no. You, take, no. you take everything too far and then it's ruined. If I haven't bought Sheila a ticket to Northern Italy, I'm not worried she might contract the virus. God, no. Yeah, she might contract it. Oh, wouldn't that be dreadful? Dave, what would I do without Sheila, my little love? I think she. What would I do? She's pouring it on a bit thick. Yeah, yeah Dave. Uh, she had a coffin catalogue in her uh, in her bag last week. That, that fell out for anyone, ground. Sarah. A highly critical report into the mandatory use of iPads in schools has found that students are frequently distracted by the devices and using them for gaming, shopping, and social media. Uh, Sarah, you're a social media influencer. What's your take on this iPads in schools? I know how hard we were on our teachers in school. Like okay. we, we had like many substitute teachers who just ran for the hills. Like mm. we viciously bullied them. Um, what so kind I of think, things would you do to a substitute teacher? 
like pins on the chair, poison in the water bottles. Poison? Um, poison. Poison, just a few drops of poison in the water bottles. Where, where'd you just get for poison? Fun. Where'd you get the poison? Uh, science any, lab. Any uh, science lab or um, hardware shops. You just kind of distill down some rat poison and clarify it and did anyone in the class get in trouble or we just said we didn't do it Dave like yeah, you know that. we just that's had our wits about us and we just said like wasn't they can't me. put you all in jail like, like, like the shaggy song like the shaggy know, song wasn't me thinking, yeah which it's funny you say shaggy because it's a, a new shag carpet Sarah that Jesus I think Christ, we Dave. could certainly do with a sponsored post this I think me and a lovely lady maybe on the shag carpet I'll do be. that this I is crass, I mean, Dave. Just Dave just because Chris is sponsoring this week's episode that is nothing to do nothing to do Everybody's got to make a cross truly, don't they? That does nothing to do with the fact that he's a guest. He's a guest because people love Carpet Chris. Please, yeah. Dave, call me Carpet. Ah, I will, of course, Carpet. <laughs> carpet Chris. Great to have you here. Marry him, Dave? Shut up, Ryan. A number of students pitched tents at the entrance to UCD to demonstrate against a proposed increase to campus accommodation by 12% in the next three years. Brian, you've had your own struggles finding accommodation in the past. Do you sympathise with these student protesters? No. The second you set foot on a college campus for the sole purpose of being a student, you lose my respect, Dave. Frankly, I only went to the college of hard knocks. Yeah. The college of life, Dave. Yeah, yeah. And Trinity for a while to study English and, and, and philosophy. But mostly, that t- hard, mostly hard, hard knocks, knocks. And, and life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoddy, as a politician, you must respect the rights of these students to protest, do you? Absolutely not. I think students are scum. I I went here, to... Here. I was in college myself, and my generation didn't really go to college. I went to a barber college. I met my wife in barber college. Uh, she was cutting women's hair, obviously. You know, I brought her to a fun fair, and uh, she wouldn't go out with me, and we were, we were on a Ferris wheel... And I climbed out of the Ferris wheel, Dave, and I want to do that, you know, that thing that Ryan Gosling does in the notebook where you hang from the Ferris wheel and say, if you don't go out with me, I'm going to jump. But I have no upper arm strength whatsoever and I fell immediately and it broke both my legs. I landed on three very heavy children who were standing beside the candy floss machine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. One of them was a very bold boy. He died. Uh, (laughs) Why was he bold? I did research into him because I felt bad for years. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then I did research and I interviewed several of his teachers and said, no, no no loss there. He was very cheeky. Did it ultimately work then? Because you ended up getting married. Well, it was a sort of a Florence Nightingale thing, Dave, where she nursed me in the local clinic and she fed me warm 7-Up and rubbed dock leaves all over my body. And Did uh, you land in some thorns or? Nettles. Was Uh, one of the child a nettle? (laughs) <laughs> I stung myself on the way into the hospital. Residents in West Dublin are seeking to reverse the recent decision to grant planning permission to a new mosque in the area. I've got a foot odour problem. My feet smell like petrol. I don't like going to places where I have to take off my shoes. I don't like bowling alleys. I don't like mosques. And I don't like my Auntie Maureen's house because she's got a nice carpet. Oh, wow. And... Oh, up again. What type is that? Is you that the gossamer? You spoon fed him that one, you Shawnee. Did now, you've... Uh, that's why I'm against these masks because they have to make you take off your shoes. And plus, people are going to rob them shoes, Dave. People are going to rob them shoes. It's Lucan after all. It is Lucan. It's Lucan like trouble. Uh, we have a caller on the line. Declan, you're very much uh, in favour of this development going ahead. You live locally. Is that right, Declan? I do, yeah, yeah. I'm very... I, 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 I love what they do with the place. I've been a mask-going man my entire life. Uh, mass is quite boring to me, but this mosque sounds very exciting. There's a child mining facilities, yeah. there's a little cafe, I think there's a cinema inside it. Uh, classrooms. Classrooms, bowling alley, I heard somebody on the radio I say there. I don't know there. if there's a bowling alley, no. Something about shoes. Yeah, you have to take your shoes off, but not because there's bowling. Do they give you special Muslim shoes when you get in there, Dave? I don't think so. I think you go in and probably in your socks or So it doesn't foot. sound like a bowling alley at all? No, no. It's I'm d- actually dead against it, Dave. <laughs> To Wait, be honest, so I'm upset because they closed down the bowling alley. So you were only in favour of it because you thought there was going to be a bowling alley. Yeah, should have done more research. Best of luck with the second series.